Hey everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at another short Latin story, and this one is about Diogenes. Now, Diogenes is a famous Greek philosopher. Um, I believe he's one of the founders of cynicism. And if you want to look him up, of course, I'd recommend that you do that. There's a ton of great information about him. Um, in this video, we're going to look specifically at his death and this sort of famous um, um, last words that he gave, if, if that's where you want to go with it. But this story is coming um, from George L. Bennett's Easy Latin Stories from Beginners. And like I've said in all the, the videos I've made from this particular textbook, what Bennett is calling um, easy Latin stories from 1880 or 1879 um, are not exactly what I would call easy Latin stories. Um, so I tend to use these more in my Latin two or, or three group, depending on, on when we need a little break from the curriculum. Um, but that's what I think they're best for. You know, sometimes it's talking about a myth or a made up story or sort of, um, you know, something that's a little bit more in that mythology range. This one is actually based on a real person, right? Diogenes. It's talking about philosophy. So again, I would recommend that if you're in that sort of Latin two, three range, and it depends, I I would use this as a break from a traditional um, curriculum or tra traditional textbook rather just to work on your latin read something different and use it as a launching point to go look up diogenes and learn about um cynicism and greek philosophy it could be a really great way to kind of um or really great entry rather um into that sort of learning right so have fun with it and um you know use it as a as sort of a launch pad now like i always do in these videos i'll start by reading the entire story to you um just the latin so you can hear it one time and then we'll pause the video and, and kind of walk through it together. But I would encourage you that when you're doing this on your own, read it aloud. If you can find a classmate, someone you can read it to. That way, when you're uh, when you're reading it, you're working on your speaking and your pronunciation. And then if they can read it back to you, you're working on your listening skills. Those are really great ways to make sure that you really understand Latin. And if you really want to um, make sure that you're on the right track and use this for practicing your translation, I would recommend the read and reread method. You hear me um, say this a lot. You read through this story. It's not very long. You write down any problem areas you have, whether it's vocab or grammar. And then when you're done with the read, you look them up, right? Try to fix all the problems you have and you repeat that process. And it might take you two or three times or four or as many times as you need to, but at some point you should be able to read through this without needing any help. And that's how you know that you've got it um, and you're in a good spot to move on. Okay. So like I said, I'll start by reading it to you now and then we'll translate it together. So the story goes like this. You have Diogenes, Moriens Dixit, Proyicite me, ne in sepulcro pasueritis, tum amici, volucribusne et feris? Minime vero inque, sed telum propter me ponitote, hoc feras a me abigam. Quomodo poteris, illi responderant, non enem senties. Quid igator mihi nocebunt ferarum dentes et vol a volucrum rostra nihil sentienti. So let's pause the video right there. Again, if you want to repeat that, my pronunciation is never anything particularly special or fantastic, but it's just something if you need um, someone to read it to you. The best bet, though, is to work on this on your own, right? Find someone you can read it to and read it back. But if you haven't done any of the things I mentioned before, pause the video, go work on it. If you're feeling good, use the rest of the video just as a double check to make sure that you're on the right track, okay? So again, we start by talking about Diogenes, the famous philosopher. So dying, Morians, right? Dying, uh, Diogenes said this, right? So he says, throw me away or, or abandon me, right? That proyikite is a, is a um, imperative, right? So he's saying kind of like toss me out is basically what it means. Um, and not uh, put me, right? Or lest you put me, right? Sometimes that nay is translated lest, right? Lest you put me in a tomb. He's like, don't put me in a tomb. Okay, so toss me out when I die and don't actually bury me. Okay, this is sort of his, his uh, philosophical moment at the end of his life, okay? Then his friends, right, Tumamiki, then his friends said is the implied, uh, applied word here, right? Um, Wolucribusne et feris, right? They're asking the question, like, throw you out to the birds and the wild beasts or for the birds and the wild beasts, right? Um, the fairies, right, the feral animals. So they're saying, aren't you going to get eaten is kind of what they're asking him. And he responds, he says, mini me wero, right? Not at all. Okay. He says, um, said talum propter, uh, propter me ponitote, right? He says, but you will, or you must, you might even say ponitote, you must place a weapon, a talum near me, propter me, right? He says, give me a weapon, okay? I mean, he says, abigam, right? Um, a hoke abigam with this, I will drive off, abigam, right? I will drive off the feros, the wild beasts, right? The wild animals, ame, from me. So he says to him, no, no, like, don't leave me to the animals. Give me a sword or a weapon, whatever it is, right? Um, give me a weapon and I'll use that to drive off the wild animals from eating me when I'm dead. Okay, so they're obviously confused and they respond, they say, quomodo uh, poteris, right? How will you be able to do this? It's kind of the implied um the uh, implied word there, right? How will you be able to do this? Um, they responded, right? For non senti, uh, senties enim, right? They say, for you will not feel or you will not perceive, right? Sentir, right? You will not feel anything or feel them is kind of the implied word here, feel the animals, right? You're not going to be aware of anything. 
And that's his point, right? So he responds with this philosophical kind of uh, gotcha moment, right? And he says, quid egator mihi no cabon ferrarum dentes et volucrum rostra nihil sentienti, right? So he says, what therefore will the teeth of beasts, the dentes ferrarum, right? The teeth of the beasts and the rostra volucrum, right? The beaks of the birds, what will they, like what harm will they do to me, right? No cabon me, right? What harm will they do to me? Um, me, sententi, right? Or sentienti, right? Those are part of well, feeling nothing. Okay. So this is his point, right? So Diogenes again was a cynic, right? So this is really a commentary on his, his sort of last views on death. Um, and he had that sort of mindset of the absurdity of how the ancient Greeks were treating dead bodies, right? He's like, why would you, why would I care? I'm dead, right? I'm not going to feel anything. So when he says, throw me out, meaning um, don't bury me, they're like, whoa, 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 you're going to get eaten by wild animals. He's like, yeah, so give me a sword. I'll protect myself. And then they kind of fall into the trap, like, but you won't feel anything. He's like, that's the point, right? If I don't feel anything, why would I ever care what happens to my body. So this is an interesting commentary um, going along the lines of, of uh, cynicism, right, in Greek philosophy. So if this is something you're you're interested in, this this kind of way of thinking, I would encourage you to look them up, right? Look up Diogenes, learn more about them. I um, mean, you could have some fun with it and kind of get some, some insight or maybe your first steps into Greek philosophy. It's not anything that I'm particularly a master at, but I still enjoy reading about it a little bit too. Um, so have some fun with it. If nothing else, it's just a nice little short story to break away from your, your traditional Latin curriculum. If you have any questions at all on this, right, anything you're not sure of, um, like I always said, my pronunciation is, is never great and uh, you might translate it slightly differently for me. That's fine. Put it in the comments below. I'm happy to help you. Um, but otherwise, keep at it. Keep practicing. And if you can read this start to finish without needing any help, you know that you're in a good spot and you're ready to move on. Good luck.